Hi YouTube family, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Mom, What's for Dinner? If you are new here, hi, I'm Pixie, nice to have you. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. I would love to have you part of my YouTube family. I do three videos a week, everything from cleaning, my Mom What's for Dinner series, weight loss, and also day in the life, stay at home mommy vlog. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love some comfort food when I am not trying to lose weight. <laughs> And I love pot pies. Now pot pies can be a bit time consuming if you make your own crust and your own gravy and all of that, which I love to do also. But this is a super simple, very easy five ingredient recipe. So my busy moms, my busy dads, let's get to cooking. All you are going to need for this recipe is a package of ready-made pie crust, a can of mixed vegetables, a can of cream of chicken soup, and a package of chicken gravy, and then de-thawed chicken breast or chicken tenderloins. So I'm going to start by boiling my chicken. Then I'm going to preheat the oven to what the pie crust directions say. Now I'm going to open up my pie crust and just let it come to room temperature because we are going to be working with this, rolling it up into little balls and flattening it back out. So it's just a lot easier to work with a warm crust. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just make my chicken gravy exactly like the directions say on the packet. Now the fun part, I'm just going to divide up each crust into separate little balls and roll them out. This is going to be set in the bottom of our dish as the bottom of the pie crust. As you guys can see, I don't know where my rolling pin is, so I improvised with the can of mixed vegetables. <laughs> Pyrex dishes that I found at Walmart, spraying them with an olive oil cooking spray, and then you just mold your flattened out crust to the Pyrex dish. Make sure, because some air bubbles can get caught underneath that, so just make sure you press it against the glass very well and that there's no air bubbles. Once your chicken is done boiling, meaning it's white and you have no pink on the inside, take it out and set it aside. Now I'm just gonna finish rolling my dough out and putting it into the remaining Pyrex dishes that I have. And then I'm going to take my boiled chicken and shred it with two forks. You can also just chop it up if you prefer that. In a large mixing bowl, you're gonna combine your chicken, a can of cream of chicken soup, your pre-made gravy that is still warm on your stove, and then a can of the mixed vegetables. And then you're going to stir. Now that you have your mixture, go ahead and fill your pie dishes. Yeah. 
now take the remaining dough, roll out, and place on top of each pie dish. And just so you guys know, each pie crust I divided up into four little balls and rolled out, which gave me four bottoms and four tops. If you have a larger family, obviously you wanna double this entire recipe. Okay, now that we have the tops on our pies, I'm going to poke three little air holes in each of them. Not only does this look super cute, but it also allows air to escape while they're cooking. Then you're gonna place these in your oven directly on the rack. Leave in the oven until your crust is a golden brown. Obviously mine got a little crispy. <laughs> I think it was the brand of crust that I use. I usually use Pillsbury and I never have this issue but it was still delicious. All right, you guys, there you have it. Another recipe where there's just really not that much to it and it's super delicious. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I wanna thank you so much for watching my Mom What's For Dinner series. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please, please subscribe. I would love to have you as one of my YouTube family. Make sure your bell notification is on so that way you get notified when I post a new video. Like I said, I do three a week and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.